Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're going to be going over the new Prime HD King Mickey medal that has come out today in the JP version of the game. Now, the medal is pretty good, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into what exactly it does. Prime HD King Mickey is a power upright metal tier 7, costs 5 gauges, is AoE, and has a 7 star multiplier of a 26.88 to a 31.16, and its ability is that it deals 4 hits and for 2 turns, it buffs your upright attack by 3 tiers, power attack by 7 tiers, debuffs the opponent's upright power, general, and reverse defense by 7 tiers, provides 120% guilt buff makes the next metal become a power type, and it deals more damage the higher the slot number. Now overall this metal is really good. I was personally not expecting a tier 7 prime to come out, although it does look like they are going to be doing prime metals for tier 7 and possibly 8 now at this point. Um, although realistically, even though they call it a prime metal, I kind of consider this more of like an EX plus metal. Because um, let's be honest, the type of effects that come with this uh, HD King Mickey Prime aren't too different from what a EX Plus medal would have anyways in the first place. At this point in time, uh, they're just th they're just slapping names on each other to try and get you to, to get medals. That's that's just how it is. There's nothing that differentiates between like what is a prime medal, what is an EX medal, and like supernova medals anymore. Like there's there's nothing really to do that, uh, of course, besides the supernova mechanic for supernova medals. But in terms of metal ability, there's nothing really like separate between like EX plus medals and prime medals at this point anymore. But anyways, after talking about that, there are some key things to point out about this medal, such as the fact that it is currently, uh, now despite it being really good, it is the sixth strongest AOE damage medal in the game. Uh, the four tellers, of course, the newest ones, being in first place, followed closely behind by the stained glass medals. After that are the tier eight, medals such as like cloud ex plus that were received long ago in the past follow behind that are the supernova medals such as supernova sethroth and the key art 19 and if you really want to you can count the kingdom Hearts 3 riku ex plus even though that doesn't have supernova on it it's they're all the same metal it's just the other ones just have the supernova mechanic attached to it that's it that's the only difference between them followed by axel plus and now of course in sixth place is going to be uh, the Prime HD King Mickey. Now, just because it's in sixth place doesn't mean it's not useful. It's still a very high multiplayer. Pretty much those last few slots, like in terms of like fifth, sixth, fourth, third place and stuff like that, their multiplies are really close to each other. So even though it's technically sixth place, um, just bump it up by like, I don't know, 0.5 or something, or even like 0.2 or whatever, and it could easily become like third place or something. Uh, so it's still pretty good, but that doesn't change the fact that there are already existing medals in the game that are just already stronger compared to King Mickey. That's also worth noting as well that there's also abilities in the game that are already doing what King Mickey does, but better. Uh, and I'm specifically talking about the newest set of stained glass medals that were recently received, such as the stained glass number no. 7 medal, which provides all buffs and debuffs and has overwrite as well. Not only does it come with the upright and reverse debuffs like King Mickey does, but it still provides 110%, also lasts for two turns, provides general strength and both reverse and upright buffs fully to the max as well. Like it literally does everything. Like it literally does everything. So if you have a stained glass number of seven um, and you have a Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus medal, for example, you realistically don't need HD King Mickey, okay? Probably one of the only redeeming factors about HD King Mickey is the fact that in the JP version of the game, uh, the banner that they receive is pretty much like every other previous Prime uh, banner that we've had in the past, where every single pull you're guaranteed a six star version of the medal, and at the five pull Mercy pull, you are guaranteed a seven star version of the medal. 
And being the fact that it is a tier 7 metal, that does mean it's going to be slightly easier to evolve to 7 star uh, if you save up fairies to do so, uh, compared to, of course, like a tier 8 metal. Uh, so there's that slight redeeming factor for that. But other than that, those are already other tier 8 medals in the game that already surpass King Mickey over. Now, of course, if you happen to not have either of those two medals that I just mentioned, then you might definitely want to consider getting this medal just because of how useful it is. Do not underestimate how useful the upright and reverse debuffs is going to be, especially for PvP. I keep stating it over and over and over again, <laughs> okay? But the stained glass medals, the newest ones, are far superior to the foretellers that we had in the past as well, like the, the most recent ones. I know there's people out there that are constantly saying, well, the stained glass medals might get replaced, but if you think about it like that, the stained glass medals aren't too different from the foreteller medals, they just have slightly better benefits. And if the stained glass medals end up getting replaced, then doesn't that just mean that the foretellers got replaced at the same time too? It's literally the same same logic but no one wants to look at that just because they have the foreteller's name and artwork on the metal realistically most things in the game get replaced anyways at some point in time so the argument that oh it's going to get replaced uh, fairly soon kind of is irrelevant to be honest but just like with every other prime banner in the past uh, i do recommend just pulling once and moving on uh, just like with every other metal and prime banner and, and such that come out before, my policy is always to at least guarantee your copy of the metal. It does not need necessarily need to have traits of any kind. Uh, of course, traits is always helpful, but is not necessary. It's not mandatory. Now, in case you happen to be skeptical about whether or not you want to pull from this banner if you want to get the medal, even though you only need one pull to guarantee your copy of the six-star version of the medal, uh, I will point out that there's not very many Keyblades in the first place in the game that have very many solid power upright slots uh, in slots three and above anyways. Uh, besides the mono power Keyblades such as Treasure Trove and Fenrir, uh, for example, Olympia only has slot 4, Moogle Glory has slot 5, and that's pretty much it. It's literally those two Keyblades that are the only ones starting from slot 3 or above. Uh, the rest only have a power upright slot in like slot 1 or 2. And considering the fact that the King Mickey Metal does say it does more damage the higher the slot number, chances are for most Keyblades, you're going to end up using King Mickey in the pet slot of your Keyblade, at which point you might as well just start using your hardest hitting uh, single target or random target uh, damage metals instead, such as like Psyx Plus, even the new Marluxia Plus. Uh, just whatever your highest hitting damage modes are. So, so if you're looking to get this medal, it's going to be primarily for its ability for PvP. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to end up being used nearly as much as you might hope it would be. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to quickly go over the information for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comments section down below. As well as, if you enjoy the content I provide here on the channel, please, by all means, feel free to become a sponsor or patron for the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.